So here's another slightly different question that takes us step by step through how to answer again this question that to simplify sine of 360 minus beta the first question we ask ourselves is in which quadrant does that angle lie so we draw our cast diagram we have our cast diagram here again we see this is the first quadrant that's 90 degrees the second quadrant this is 180 degrees 180 degrees minus is in this quadrant 180 degrees plus is in this quadrant that's 270 degrees this is 360 degrees okay so 360 plus would again be in that quadrant 360 minus would be in the fourth quadrant okay so 360 minus B is in the fourth quadrant the next question is in this quadrant the output of the sine function is okay so we notice that in the fourth quadrant there's a C which means that only cos is positive in this uh, quadrant the rest is all negative so sine would be negative okay the third and final question what is the angle that we now make with the x-axis so if I were to just draw that again a little bit bigger here for you so that you can see if I have 360 degrees is all the way there minus beta means I am going in the clockwise direction beta units beta degrees okay so what is the angle that we make with the x-axis okay it's beta beta is the angle I make with the x-axis so it's beta now if we had to simplify here we see that this can be simplified into sine of beta but sine of beta would be talking about this triangle which is in the first quadrant and is positive and uh, we already saw that we are in the fourth quadrant where sine is negative so we must multiply this positive output with a negative to get the correct output for sine of 360 minus beta.
Why do I say that? Because sine squared, anything that is squared will be positive. It doesn't matter what the outcome is, it's going to be positive anyways. So negative times negative is positive anyways. So what we have is sine of 45, so we'll keep the negative just to just to be sure. Sine of 45 is 45, sine is y over r, so sine of 45 is square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, and this thing is being squared, and what do we get? Square root 2 squared will just give me 2, negative squared is positive, over 2 squared is 4, so my answer is a half. Okay, sine squared of 225 gives me a half. So for our final question here, we see we've got quite a few, and all we're going to do is do each one separately, and in the end, just do the calculation, okay, and do it without a calculator. The first one talks about sine of 315 degrees. Now, 315 degrees is more than 270 and less than 360, so we need to write it in terms of 360 minus. So sine of 315 is 360 degrees minus 45 degrees. Again, if I simplify this interior, I'll get 315. Tan of 120 in terms of 180 minus, 180 plus or 360 uh, minus, we see 120 is second quadrant because it's less than 180, more than 90, so we get 180 degrees minus what to get 120? minus 60. And finally, plus cos of 240. 240 is in the third quadrant. So we have plus cos. Third quadrant is 180 degrees plus 60 as well. Okay, now we can use our reduction formulas. Because we know sine 360 minus is the fourth quadrant only cos is positive in the fourth quadrant, so this must be minus sine of 45 degrees, divided by tan in the second quadrant, okay, where only sine is positive, 180 minus the second quadrant, sine is positive, so tan must be negative, tan of 60 degrees. Okay, and this one plus cos of 180 plus, 180 plus is third quadrant, tan is positive in the third quadrant, meaning cos is going to be negative. So when we multiply this positive with a negative, it becomes negative cos of 60 degrees. And this, I'm sure you can do, we did it before, let's see how it's done. First of all, sine of 45, sine is y over r for 45 degrees, tan is x uh, y over x for 60 degrees and cos is x over r for 60 degrees as well. So in the numerator, well the negatives we can cancel of course. So in the numerator we have sine of 45 is this 45 sine is y over r so square root 2 over 2 tan of 60 degrees 60 degrees tan is y over x, so square root 3 over square root 1, which just gives me square root 3, minus cos of 60 degrees is square root is x over r, square root 1 over 2, that's just 1 over 2. So what do we have? Okay, so if we simplify this, we get square root 2 over 2 times, this is 3 over 1, so tip and times, that gives me um, times 1 over square root 3 minus a half. And this I'm just going to multiply numerator and denominator here with a square root 3 to get square root 2 times square root 3 gives me square root 6. And here in the denominator I get square root 3 times square root 3 which just gives me 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus a half, 
Okay, and in order to subtract these two fractions, I need to multiply this with a 3 and that with a 3. And what do I get? In the numerator, I get the square root of 6, which is not a pretty number, minus 3 over 6. And that is my final answer.